Hello, everybody, and welcome here, getting into map number one between the St. Clair Saints Academy and Conestoga Condors. Let's get right into it here. Rio, map number one, nades, it's guns going out early. It's going to be Siri protecting bridge. It's going to be rare picking up that first blood savvy is going to be sitting on this hill siri and taylor though going back and forth so so far so good time going back and forth nothing too nothing too crazy here besides pieces absolutely piecing them up grabbing a two right there and that should secure some time for his body he even tried to go around for the spawn kills as well however he did get shut down meanwhile siri is picking up two as well over towards eskies and that's going to be three dead for the side of conestoga but Rizzo is able to pick up one, able to contest some time here on that P1, preventing some of that time going towards St. Clair. It's going to be Pieces versus Carrizo on that hill, and Pieces is able to pick up one on the Savvy, who tried to come in with the assist. Meanwhile, Carrizo, though, able to pick up that kill, grabbing the extra five seconds. Grab St. Clair coming out on top, over towards that P1. Factions able to pick up, pick up one, turns and burns for the second. And that's going to be time here for the side of St. Clair over towards that hot dog stand. Grab yourself something yummy, set up, and get ready to watch the show that's about to unfold. Pieces able to pick up one. Siri able to pick up one as well while the teammates start falling around him. It's gonna be all down to Siri on top of the hill. But turns around behind him, picks up one while he's getting attacked from the front. Does a little dipsy do able to pick up another one, gets shot from behind, finally gets taken down by Savvy, but does secure some pretty decent time there on that P2. It's gonna be 25 seconds left here for Konestoga to try and take. Meanwhile, Paxton's gonna approach that site. He's gonna try to take it as Rare finds a nade as well. Siri coming through, he finds one that's a speaking suspicion. Someone's enjoying themselves some hot dogs, trying to ruin the party. However, it's gonna be Savvy with the plays, locking down some of that time. So Conestoga, they're still going to be behind. However, St. Clair, you can see on the map, they are all over that rotation as well. Fishy kind of come in through that side window. Does get taken down by Rare, who is guarding the outside. Taylor is going to try to come and ruin her party over towards the outside. So Siri locking it down from the inside. You can see two players trying to push in through those boxes. Factions gets a pretty nice nade. Going to deal some pretty nice damage while Pieces cleans them up, picks up over towards that window while inside is going to be stabbing with the TK rare queens up the last one that was disastrous for Tonus Doga as Pink Flair starting to rack up the time here pieces does get taken down by Taylor who's here with Mishy trying to break through the staircase and they do end up breaking through contesting the time for now Siri gets taken down Savvy finds Rare on the outskirts and that's going to be a break here for Conestoga 10 seconds left on the clock though St. Clair getting the majority of that one we head on over towards P4 it is going to be once again St. Clair winning that rotation over towards this new hill nobody's going to be sitting on the hill quite yet they're just going for that positioning first meanwhile factions Will make his way on there. Does get tagged up by Carrizo while Siri picks up kill. Rare finds one as well. Bishy gets a team date on to Carrizo. And that, once again, is going to be another disastrous team kill for Conestoga as St. Clair starts to take over the hill. They are racking up the time, racking up the lead. Rare pieces finds kills. Factions over towards Dumpster. Trying to find the player on Druck Bed and does exactly that. Finds them as Siri is in here. Support now back up towards box is rare from up top. Is going to be towards that garden bed. Going to have a chance to deal some damage. But pieces and factions able to pick up their kills. And so far, this map has been all St. Clair Saints as they rack up the rest of that scrap time on P1 and take a lead over double the score of Konestoga. Headed on over towards P5. And P5 will be controlled here by Konestoga. So they're going to have a chance to get themselves back into this game. Rare trying to secure those spawns for her squad. However, she's not going to quite be able to do so. And we carry from a distance trying to pick up one. Does exactly that. Knows that player is going to be sitting in between the pillars. Perfectly placed Nate able to pick up the kill. But it is going to be Konestoga picking up the kills. Meanwhile, Clearing St. Clair off at that point, racking up a bit of time for their squad. Siri's going to come in through. Siri's going to come in through. Does get taken down by Bishy, who finds two hiding between the pillars. Savvy picks up one as well, and St. Clair can knock it anywhere near this site as Conestoga starting to come back in this one, racking up some time here. They were down by about 70 points, now within 30 and counting. 
Deer's gonna try to change that though. He's gonna go for the scrap from the top ropes. Not quite able to fit his head as Vishy Savvy able to clear how Savvy's gonna be out of five. Vishy just tied off of four. Savvy finds the six. That's gonna be streak in the pockets of Savvy. You're headed into the second set of rotations. Go to Stoga starting to heat up a bit here as they're continuing to find these kills. Starting to rack it up here, looking to find the lead change, but rare from the bridge, able to pick up one. Throws down the stun. Her teammates end up falling around her, but pieces and Siri, they get right back in the action. They're finding their kills. One left on the hill to take care of, but it's going to be Vizky who's been absolutely gross. Doopy so far, and he's going to hold. Savvy's going to hit a flank as well, and that's going to be a lead change here for Kona Stoga as we hit the midway point of this map. And they're going to have control of T2 as well as 15 seconds left on that P1 to boot. Savvy even pushes out the spawn. They have P2 spawns. They have their kills. And they have most of that P1. But it is going to be pieces coming in for the scrap. However, he's going to have to rotate instead of grabbing that scrap time. Trying to play this a little aggressive. Trying to get going here on this P2 before this game gets away from them. Pieces does find one on that flank. It well picked up two on the hill. Meanwhile, Carrizo, the lone defender of the fight, is going to end up falling as Bishy falls as well. So that is going to be a St. Clair break here over towards P2. Three, picking up one over towards back. And this is going to be pieces. He's trying to throw back that nade, but ends up dying instead where Bishy trading things out. Rare finds two. Bishy finds two. But Rare coming out on top. Sitting on that hill with the Renetti picks up a kill on a three spree out of rare. 20 seconds left on this one. St. Clair takes that lead right back. And we are just getting started here, ladies and gentlemen. 10 seconds left on that P2. Should be all St. Clair headed on over towards that P3. Factions going to get a kill over towards Askies. Bishy about to trade that one out. Trying to... Trying to sneak out someone towards that outer as he knows, as he knows there's been somebody outer every single time they had defended that hill so far. So trying to keep an eye out for someone over towards that window, but it gets killed from that window regardless. This is going to be St. Clair with the break. Taylor trying to come in through boxes, picks up one, picks up a trophy. As factions is kind of lurking in the gardens over here, expecting that bridge push hitting an off angle, and that works beautifully for him as he takes down the wall. He's going to push through stairs. Pieces finds one. There's going to be one more player left on the hill. It's going to be Savvy. Savvy finds two, but Rare able to pick up that kill. But that finds enough time for Taylor to come inside of the hill and pick up one, but it gets traded out. Carrizo going to be the last one standing inside of that hill, picking up one in the spawn as well. It's going to be Bishy. Meanwhile, Pieces finds one. Pieces finds two for that scrap time. Beautiful shots out of Pieces. 20 and 16 performance we are seeing out of Pieces. Absolutely fantastic map so far out of him as we head on over towards P4. So far, it is going to be Conestoga all over it. However, St. Clair hit a double century mark. They just need one more good hold, and they are going to be your victors. However, they have to get to that one hold first. As the nade comes in through boxes, Bishy, Siri actually ends up pulling himself up with that nade through boxes. Unfortunate self kill as Taylor and Bishy start to clean things up and they find the rest of the kills. That's a clean wipe in favor of Konastoga. Still 30 seconds left on the hill. Konastoga still with the chance to take this lead here late in the side of P4. Heath is going to be in through boxes. He finds one. The push is starting to come on through. Siri coming in through as well. Ends up picking up one. And that should be scrap time for St. Clair. As they inch closer to that victory rare. Trying to rotate on through mid. Finds one. Pieces with the support. Finds one as well. But Bishy catches one off guard. Going to fly on through over towards Bridge. Taking his time. Pods rare takes her out as well. As now Bishy making the big plays. Last time the still came, it was all Konestoga. But we see the same here. They cannot win it off of this hill, but they can get one second off with a perfect hold. Bishy is just being an absolute mess on a force three. Make that five out of Bishy as he ends up picking up top bridges, not giving it up. Picks up the six. Give him it all. It's Bishy from top bridge, boarding off. The Saints, but Peace is able to pick up two, including one on the Bishy. That's going to end his 
many seconds left on this hill. They're trying to collapse on this hill, trying to pick up the spear towards killers. But Taylor is going to find two from a distance. Pieces is able to get on that hill. Pick up the time. Taylor's going to chow for it. Taylor's going to win it with that Renetti. And now it should be Cutter Stelga just roughly 10 seconds away from victory. Two state players, 33, as we head back on over towards P1. It's going to be Cutter Stelga on the hill. Where picks up one. Pieces is able to trade it out. Pieces is able to trade that one out. And we go back and forth. Taylor as well. Pieces picks up one. Faction's able to break onto that hill. Still 30 seconds left for the Sting Flare victory. They are going to have control of this one. Here comes the next break out of Kona Stoga. Another team kill. That's the third team kill out of Kona Stoga. And they're all going to fall in St. Clair. They're going to have control of the hill. 20 seconds left to victory. Savvy trying to break on through. He's going to contest, trying to push it to a next hill. And they will do so successfully. They break on the hill. And they can still win off of this hill as well. As Taylor finds, I believe, a three. Three seconds left. They have to run off the hill. They get stunned. They get taken out. They're going to make the comeback. They're going to take map number one. The Conestoga Condors. After being down 70 points early, end up winning the next handful of rotations, getting some great time, breaking some setups, and not to mention Bishy. 30 and 21 with 25 non traded. Absolutely incredible there. As they end up taking the series, they're up in the series right now. 1 to 0. Oh, as we head on to a map number two, which is going to be Invasion, Search, and Destroy. Now, I know. Rare is very methodical when it comes to that S and D and planning for her squad to to just get in shape for this S and D. So I'm expecting a great S and D out of them. However, Konastoga, obviously you can never count them out because they just made that comeback in that map number one. But while we get set up for map number two, we're gonna head to a quick break. So don't go anywhere. It's gonna be Konastoga. It's gonna be Saint Clair Saints Academy coming up next.
and welcome back, everybody. Map number two, Conestoga taking on St. Clair Saints Academy. Conestoga taking map number one in a dramatic fashion to end things off. Siri is going to get ripped right off the rip by, or actually, excuse me, Siri's going to get the kill off the rip, giving an early advantage here for St. Clair. Conestoga not ready for that mid aggression out of St. Clair. And while Bishy's going to be watching. For that mid push, Bishy picks up one, Bishy picks up two as Carrizo finds pieces, and now it's gonna be all down to rare. What was looking so good at the start for St. Clair falls apart in an instant when you don't check your corners. It is Conestoga taking round number one. What a round savvy from the outskirts picking up rare for that final kill, kind of hanging around those pillars. And that's going to be Konestoga. That's going to be Bishy once again with the tricky positioning. Nobody expecting to check their immediate left as they went through those reception doors. And Bishy just tears them down. It's Konestoga. They're going to go for a full-on B hit here. Throwing their early nades over towards B. Siri's going to be over towards Tank. Does get tagged down. Meanwhile, Rare coming in through Dark. Picks up one. Not able to get out with her life. So it's going to be a three on three here. Lots of regression here out of Konestoga towards this B site. As Savvy ends up picking up fractions through Dark. Siri does pick up one. Retreats back towards the plow. It's going to be two on two here. Siri's still going to be kind of pinned back here. Carrizo hits the flank, able to pick up pieces. Siri knows he is pinned over towards this plow. The stun's going to come through. It's going to miss. The pinch is going to come, and he's going to take it out. Conestoga, they look coordinated as ever as they take the second round. Conestoga ending these rounds in an absolute flash. Once they get started, they got very aggressive towards that towards that site. They checked their dark not once but twice, and both times picked up a kill. Siri with two kills for St. Clair. However, Conestoga has Bishy 3-0 and, oh, and Carrizo 3-0. and oh. Carrizo hitting that flank last round, too, just mixing it up. Getting tricky here in S&D. Conestoga going for that mid-aggression off the rip this time. Well, more prepared for it. However, it's going to be St. Clair making a slow push on over towards B. Savvy is going to be in position to find a kill. Does find one. Tries to get away with their look. Rare able to get aggressive and trade that one out. Meanwhile, it's going to be Taylor from a distance trying to find pieces. Beast is able to back away. Watching now that dark alley as Taylor hits the tank positioning. That tank position is so very strong to hold. But Taylor trying to switch up the angle here. Where well, Carrizo picks up Rare through that top. And now Carrizo picks up pieces as well. And Taylor picks up the last. And Conestoga, they are starting to roll. They're starting to rip and tear as they find a 3 0 lead here in SD. It was all about that route. That that one player hit up through top broken, able to pick up two. I believe that was Carrizo once again on the five spree now. Finds three in that round. Absolute playmaker here for the side of Conestoga. It's that hop up over towards that top back broken. It's going to be Taylor looking through mid for some aggression. Savvy's going to be watching through reception as Conestoga starting to find their place. Factions trying to hold strong over towards the mid as Harry doesn't end up for that first blood. Rare able to trade that one out over towards tank. Three on three here. Pieces sent to the inside of reception. Does end up picking up that kill as well off a of stun. Slight numbers advantage here for St. Clair's. Pieces actually ends up picking up Taylor off as well. So it's going to be all done to Carrizo. Does have the six spree through three rounds though. Very important. Does spot that rare through mid. Gonna get some positioning, get some info. She starts to rotate on over. Does spot one player through mid, does pick him up, expect the second, but not able to take down the kill. And that's gonna be St. Clair stopping the momentum out of Conestoga, giving themselves a round on the board.
actions with a pretty nice round there, if I do say so myself. Is able to pick up a kill. Rare picks up an important one as well. Pieces in Siri. Getting the job done. Siri hasn't gotten a kill in a couple rounds, but Pieces is able to pick up a pair. That's going to be six player heading back on over towards that B site. Again, getting aggressive towards mid. There's going to be one defender over here towards B. It's going to be savvy. He's going to throw a nade into a trophy. Try to escape out through dark. Does get stunned up. Is able to escape. Meanwhile, Factions gets really aggressive over towards Palace. Able to pick up one. Now watches through that spawn. Will he spot Carrizo on his right towards that tank? Watches mid. Too many players to watch. Too many players to keep track of. Does get taken down. Factions just too much to handle in that situation however did buy enough time for that bomb to get planted it's gonna be a three on three retake here for conestoga you can see saint Clair all backed up you got two heading over towards that plow it's gonna be scary down some damage over towards one meanwhile rare finding this he's putting down some damage as well onto savvy as now three to advantage here for saint Clair. savvy picks up some damage in theory does get pushed out Carrizo finds one as well it's gonna be all down to rare towards this back plow and she gets taken down as well she's not able to do it it's gonna be Konestoga clutching up the 2v3 with the defuse putting themselves up four to one here in SND yeah I was not a fan of that positioning there out of St. Clair having two players towards that plow is just not ideal whatsoever and you saw exactly why in that scenario one of them got was able to get taken down and the other one just got pinched back there you can get pinched or you, you can get i should say just kind of isolated toward that back plow so easily and that's exactly what happened in that situation they had nobody watching that kind of pallet side street and it was just a disaster. 4-1 here for Konestoga. You have Faction sitting in mid-reception trying to watch the push. Does end up picking up one. Tries to run away with his life. Gets the info on the second as well. Gonna throw a nade behind him. Crosses with that smoke from the nade as a little bit of cover. Pieces is gonna be watching over towards Highway Street. Konestoga is gonna be moving in through mid. Faction's with the off angle. It will pick up another kill. It's going to be 4v2 here in favor of St. Clair. Taylor is able to recover that bomb, though. Rare from a distance, able to pick up Savvy. It's going to be all down to Taylor. And Taylor's going to fall. It's going to be St. Clair racking up another round. Finally, a clean round out of St. Clair as they try to crawl back into this. Now down 4-2 to here on Invasion. Down 0-1 in the series. Can they turn that round into some momentum here as they head on the offense? Haven't been too successful on these offenses at all. They had the opportunity two rounds ago. Couldn't clutch up the 3v2. Had that bomb planted. And then before, they couldn't even get to the B site. Let's see how they do on this offense here. What adjustments they make. They are going back over towards A. Let's spot one inside of Pantry. Does get taken out as Carrizo finds Rare. It's going to be a 4v2. Siri's going to be trying to get a little bit of positioning. He's not able to do some pieces. Last one alive. Does get taken down. And Conestoga, they're going to find themselves a map point. Conestoga, savvy with some really kind of unexpected positioning. You, you don't... I mean, I really like that positioning, but you don't normally see a player get up in that building. Kind of, in S and D at all, really. I mean, when they're watching over that spawn, I mean, it. I mean, it really works because they had the numbers advantage, so they were able to kind of just get that map presence, get that map control, get more insight information for the squad with that positioning, and it's like an off angle. I mean, you don't expect a player to be up there. And, worked out absolutely perfectly for them and they were able to get that final kill so now now we're never for st Clair. they're down two to five here in s and d rare gets tagged down to 67 hp I'm gonna try to make her escape but she does so successfully still four on four it is gonna be b hit here out of conestoga is she is gonna be your bomb carrier taylor is gonna be watching over towards tank looking for an opening here 
Looks like they might be trying to make this call to rotate back over towards A. You can hear the streak being called in now. I believe that it is going to be out of Carrizo. We'll see what information is behind. Factions, Taylor, start things off with a trade over through mid. That bomb's going to be worked back on over. All three players are going to be pinched inside of mid here. Peace is able to pick up some info as he gets away. That bomb has successfully moved on over towards A. Pieces picks up Taylor, trying to get too aggressive there. 2v3, favor St. Clair. Pieces throws a nade, does get taken down by Carrizo. That bomb goes down as well. Rare finds Bishy, all down to Carrizo in the 1v2. Gonna hit back street. Might have spotted Rare over through mid. Throws that stun. It's spot on to Siri, picks up that kill. It's gonna be 1v1, Rare versus Carrizo. That bomb is down as well. Conestoga advantage where it gets put down and Conestoga, they take map number two, the 1v2 clutch out of Carrizo. 2-0 Conestoga lead here in this series. Carrizo showed him some love. 12 and 2 out of Carrizo. Spicy, if I do say so myself. 7 1,700 damage for Carrizo. Nine non-traded. Man of the match, that is for sure. As now 2-0 map count here in favor of Conestoga. A little concerning there if you are St. Clair, but map three control is where you can really show off some of that teamwork, some of that leadership, getting your team back into the game. So that's what I'm expecting here out of St. Clair. A great bounce back, a strong start here in control. Maybe get a spawn trap nice and early flip that momentum and that's exactly what they need to do they have to start out strong if you don't start out strong here you could just kind of get buried nice and early on high rise before it even starts so you have to kind of grab that momentum early get some kills get your setup because even a mixy high rise may not flow your way at this point with the momentum that conestoga has right now so you're going to want to try and battle back any way you can here in this control. I mean, it, it is now or never. You are down 0-2 in the series. And while we get this set up, I believe we're going to cut to a quick break. So guys, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with map number three between Conestoga and the St. Clair Saints Academy. Welcome back, everybody. Map number three, Conestoga taking on the St. Clair Saints Academy. We're on high rise for some 
Roll action. That's the top. Half number two headlined by Carrizo's 12 and two performance. Let's see if we can keep that up here in map number three. As map number one was all pieces. For the side of St. Clair, at least. As they did end up falling home, we would have a very solid map looking to see that come out of pieces in this control. You need that here. If you are St. Clair, you gotta be able to pick the kill. Be able to pick up rare through mid. Conestoga is going to be on your defense. Progress being made here. Stabby gets the kill on this theory, but also gets the team kill on the Taylor with that propane explosion. Action Stabby able to trade things out so far. Not no real map control for either side right now. However, the A site is wide open for the taking. If you are St. Clair, and factions is going to say, "Hey, I'm going to try to take that." As he does pick up a kill as well. That's going to be two dead for the side of Conestoga. Fishy and Stabby can be the last one alive. Stabby picks up one, almost kept on the second. Back to find one. Stabby picks up the second. And that's going to stop that push on that A site. However, two new speed on over towards B. As Rare picks up one, but Taylor ends her life quickly. As now less than 30 seconds on the clock. You're forcing Claire to make something happen. Pieces picking up two through mid. He's going to end up hopping on that B site. He's going to stop that clock. Make some progress here. Put that pressure on. He makes the port has arrived here. Steering through mid. Tries to pick up one, but rare infections. They pick up one each. Rare finds a second. And that should be the beat that caps with one more congestion here out of Bishy, who finds two. Almost picks up the third. But regardless, that B site does get captured here for the side of St. Clair. Put a minute back on that clock here. Going to A. It's going to be Siri from Top Valley. Trying to clear through mid, gonna try and give up that gunfight force. It's a more favorable, but Carrizo and Bishy able to pick up some kills. Meanwhile, that's gonna put advantage here for the side of Conestoga. We're trying to hit the outer ledge route here, trying to be a little bit sneaky for her squad. Open things up. The series gonna pick up one kill, trying to build off the momentum. Here. Bishy able to pick up Siri. Rare gets the beat down on the Bishy. That's gonna be two dead now. For the side of Conestoga, can Rare pick this last one towards Heli? No, she can't. But Carrizo does eventually get traded out, and that pressure is going to start to stop. Okay, is going to come in. Does pick up one towards Blue. Not the second pick for the second towards Blue. Pulls out the Renetti, gets the third with the Renetti, the Heartbreaker. 5v5 now. 30 seconds left. This one can come down to lives, folks. It's going to be Rare towards Top Helipad. It's going to be back to the mid taken out. By Taylor. Meanwhile, Rare from the picks up one. Doesn't trade it out. He's been able to trade that one out. Fury finds one as well. No response remaining. Other side, 2v2. Stevi saves himself. The calling on the ledge picks up another one. 1v2 here for Siri. Eight seconds left. Does hop onto that site. Push from behind. Picks up one. Hops around the barrels. Is going to win. Is going to dip and dive. Weave and wive. And does get taken down in the end by Kona Stoga. I don't even know what words I said. But it's it's going to be words now as Kona Stoga does take the win in that round number one. Fishy gets the beat down in the 1v1 on control. Oh my goodness. Does not get closer than that. Round number two, loading up here. Across the board, I mean, Bishy just absolutely popping off. Not slowing down one bit this entire series. Yoga on the offense here. Gonna get the job done. Meanwhile, Factions finds that first blood onto Savvy. He'll make his way around. He's able to pick up one onto Carrizo. Looking strong on Helipad. Are you able to pick up Taylor from around the outside? Runs into Bishy, able to take him down. That's gonna be three dead. All up to Savvy, who is gonna be on that B site, putting on a little bit of pressure here. Pieces not quite getting it the angle that he wanted. He's not shooting. Factions picks up one. Pieces does eventually takes down Savvy. That's gonna be two dead. Make that three dead as Faction picks up a four spree here for St. Clair. As they grab a life advantage, Faction does get taken down over through mid. Here he's going to end up picking up one. End up, oh, almost finds Bishy, but Bishy gets the kill in the end. So that's some good pressure out of St. Clair. 
aren't quite able to capitalize on those kills because the guy 